in a very love-backed happy birthday to my wife, Sarah, Stone Cold Fox. Mmm! Do the, uh, the Swifty and the Bieber all at once. Happy birthday, babe. Welcome to Bruise with Beck, wife birthday edition. I'm Dan, and how the hell are you? Uh, you better give your wife a uh, big kiss today just for me because it's my wife's birthday. Uh, hopefully you're great. Your week is going great. She actually picked out this beer from uh, Trader Joe's Studio City as a uh, Easter gift, but uh, this is going to be a dedication back to her. As uh, my wife, uh, this one is the 2024 version of La, P La Petite Provision uh, that, uh, by the brewery out of Placentia, California, right near Anaheim, uh, Orange County. Um, I didn't know this until right now. Uh, they named the brewery app because... It's a mix of brewery and rue, R-U-E, that is their family name. So that, that's that's why it's named that way. I'd always wondered, and now I, I looked it up. So there we go. All right. So I figured this is a perfect beer. This is not my typical beer. She chose this. This is – I usually would pass this right by, and I think I did at Trader Joe's. This is off my radar usually. 3.5 on the Richter. Barely tap in. This is a table beer, allegedly. I will uh, actually look that up here in a second to see uh, what exactly that means. But let's just read the description, shall we? Uh, Belgian-style table beer with Thai basil and lemongrass. Uh, Bonne Nuit Mez Amis. Uh, it's probably... Uh, seems French, but uh, it's, yeah. Anyway, we... We made this Belgian-style table beer just for you, crafted in tr traditional style. La Petite Provision is easy drinking and full of flavor thanks to additions of Thai basil, lemongrass, and the brew. Herbal, floral, and slightly sweet. This one's best enjoyed over a candlelit uh, dinner. Well, I ain't got no candle, but uh, this is, you know, this is uh, for the wife. There's me. There's us. First started dating. Literally still still can wear this t-shirt that I first met her in. And this is the same type of uh, hat that I was wearing on, uh, you know, our first dates. Because I, it's just not classy. Anyway, so yeah, La Petite Provision. Uh, probably saying that wrong by the brewery. Uh, but Trader Joe's, shout out. Uh, you know, happy, happy birthday, wife. Figured I have a little John Mayer in the back. Uh, and yeah, that's about all I got. So... Let's do this. Hopefully you have having a great week. Uh, and let's get a birthday beer for the wife. All right. And on in this glorious celebration day of my wife, can we please, just for her, please hit that like and subscribe button birthday style. That way we can sit down with cold drinks like this, especially this 3.5% table beer. Anytime you want. What's up? All right, all right, all right. Please like and subscribe, and thank you so much. All right. <clears throat> Turn it down just a twinge. Got my steel drums in the back. All right. Well, there you go. Four fingers of uh, head right there. Why don't you give me a second, and uh, we'll have this ready to drink. One sec. All righty. Uh, ready to drink. Uh, basically, a table beer is... Small percentage beer. Uh, let's see. The most striking would be uh, features would be the low alcohol content. It's supposed to be anywhere from 1.5 to 3 ABV. But it, it did say in another article that generally it, it kind of goes anywhere from 1 to 4 these days. Generally malt forward uh, hops are mostly a background player. Uh, believed to originate in mi medieval Europe. Uh, these beers were literally for the table for everyone to share. Even the kids. uh -huh. There you go. I don't know what, uh, they're generally party, party guile brews, but yeah. So basically very light beer that's, you know, summer friendly, uh, apparently even, even very friendly for, you know, some people with kids. Uh, don't know about that, but I'm just very interested in this one because of, you know, you know, obviously, yeah, I think it's more of a Belgian and French, uh, thing, but, uh, with Thai basil and lemongrass, that sounds pretty good. Uh, Dedication to the wife, the nice different style. Happy birthday. It's gonna smell. It smells very uh, earthy and. Uh, little, yeah, earthy and lemongrass. I mean, as I should get from this. 
I'd have to. I can. I think I can get the basil from that. Um, oh. Yeah. It's not. I'm, I'm not always smelling basil, but it smells pretty, pretty delish. So, all right. Well, no words. Just, uh, just happy birthday to my wife. All right. Give me a like and subscribe. Let's drink a beer. Okay. That's. That's. I mean, it's light, but it's got like a kind of herbal lemongrass grain um, kind of uh, you know feel to it. Nice and clean. I mean, yeah, very, very light. I, I, I would have guessed four percent, so would have been close. I, I, you know, last thing I remember having only three point five percent was uh, was uh, what was it? The Barrelito um, that I think was three point five percent. So a little like this, a little different, but I can definitely tell the lightness has that. But it, this one uh, has no offense to Barrelito, has a little more taste, just how it's brewed. So there you go. Big ups to Placentia, California. Like I said, mouthfeel, even though it's got more umph up front, then it kind of comes down real quickly. I'd say like 15% uh, out of, or 15 out of 100. And uh, like I said, kind of feels like about four. But I like it. Uh, nice choice. I do, I did notice, I think these go for, just because of the interesting style and the brew, you know, being that it's not just a your everyday brewery, I think these go for like 16 bucks a four pack, so... Definitely, uh, you know, I think it's usually about four bucks a can for the 16 ounce or so. You're not going to get much bang for your buck for uh, alcohol percentage, but as far as taste. All right. All right. Um, anyhow, 182 people have rated this one so far this year. 3.76 out of 5. Uh, that kind of shows to me that people give this about eh, a nice strong B, maybe. Um I'm liking it so far. Um, I'm actually going to go let my wife try this because uh, she's the one who picked it out. She, you know, she, it's your day, Sarah. You, we, we'll do whatever you want today, uh, whether that, that, that means, uh, you know, roller skating with ice cream or uh, literally cuddling up and watching love, actually. But anyway, give me one sec. All right. Cheers to the wife. Swap a little uh, picture out. Honeymoon. There you go. Cayman Islands. Booyah. Booyah. Hope we think he's all out for uh, for her birthday. I'm sure, I don't know if she's going to love it or hate it, but whatever. Can't even get the uh, light right in there. So it's not... Whatever. That'll work. That'll work. All right. Well, let's finish up this beer. La, La Petite Provision. Uh, I realized after kind of reading a few comments, one person was like 3.5%. Awesome. Um, loving this beer. Now, again, don't know about four, four bucks a can for something like this. If that's actually true, I don't know if it is. But uh, it is refreshing. It does have a very Bel Belgian wit. Uh, almost, uh, what is it? Uh, almost like a clove. I don't know if it's cardamom. Thing going to it, but no, it's nice. Got that Belgian style, that Belgian, Belgian yeast style. Um, all right, cheers. Let's give it a grade. Happy, happy birthday, wife. April second. She's only twenty three years old. Crazy. I'm so old. It's not true. Um, all right. It was delicious. Thank you, the brewery. Uh, interesting beer. Like it. Very refreshing. Table beer. I don't know if you guys completely leave in the comments if you've had a table beer, but let's give it up. Stow her down to hell no. I'm going to give that a... Yeah, I mean, they're wrong. Just, just getting into... Reasonable. I mean, I got given an 86. So just pressing up on uh, getting into like 
top edge be kind of like, there you go. Like people were kind of saying, 3.76 out of 5. It's about what I would kind of rate it on there. So nice, solid B beer. Very refreshing. Uh, I like more alcohol kick, so that's just me. But uh, anyway, hopefully you're having a great day. Let me know if you've had this. I would love to hear. Um, uh, if I could get plenty of happy birthdays in the comments for my wife, that would be terrific. And uh, just give me a like and subscribe, and we'll see you out there. Go listen to some John Mayer and some steel drums as well. And, uh, yeah, get more of that. Get more of that. Boom. All right. See you.